this is the actual diff. So, up and out it comes. Including its two bearings. Okay. Uh, actually, searching for a piece I dropped earlier, I don't seem to find it in here. So I dropped it to there. Maybe it's in the cover over here somewhere. Yeah, it's here in the cover. Okay, so that's about it for the gearbox, except for the actual repair of stuff and the painting or the powder coating at least. So, That's, uh, that'll be it for today. Um, next time will be, of course, the, the cleaning you've already seen with the engine. So I'm not going to bother filming it again. Perhaps the disassembly of the shaft, or primary and secondary shaft, but I'm not too sure. Um, so most likely this is it for today. And hope to see you guys again when I'm reassembling this. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my mess. So as you guys can tell, the gearbox has not been powder coated. Um, main reason for this is budget. I had to replace some more parts than I intended. And a second reason would be uh, I just don't trust it enough with all of the different uh, seals and everything. Um, don't want to scratch up any areas that need seals. So I just didn't trust it well enough. Might uh, still do something on the exterior with something uh, uh, myself, but it won't get powder coated at this stage. Okay, so I cleaned everything up. It's uh, as clean as it can get without sandblasting the thing. And I ordered new parts. So what did I order? I ordered a new spring. That's the one that's in here with the reverse gear. I ordered a new bracket. Because I bent this one while I was uh, extracting the lever, uh, I still need to remove this one. I ordered the new little plastic tab that was on the secondary shaft end. I've ordered a new seal for the gear selector arm, the lever. Uh, bear in mind, this one is just the seal the other type also had some bit of uh, metal ring which would uh, come against the surface of the gearbox this one doesn't have it I tried removing this seal but it's one piece you can't get it off so 
I don't know why they changed the design. I've got some uh, a new nut. Uh, I believe this is the one for the secondary. The one for the primary is in back, in back order at the moment. I got a new lock pin for the gear selector lever but I'll come back to you with that one I've got a new lock pin for the other external arm and there is a, a seal I don't remember off the top of my head but I think it's also for this arm and last but not least another lock pin which goes on the selector fork of the fifth gear. And it's in a box over here. Of course, my new gear selector. Uh, there's no number on this one. Maybe in the, on the back. No, there's no number. So with the new gear selector, you got the new lever itself along with the entire assembly and funny the lock pin is included in the kit so I did not need to order that one also about uh, the spring I ordered which is uh, on this uh, lock for a reverse gear or whatever um, I ordered a new one because I noticed the edges on the old one were ground down a little bit Apparently, that is normal. This one has it as well. Okay, I got a new one. I can't return it. Probably can't return it. So I'm just gonna use the new one anyway. I cleaned all of my bits. And right now, I'm gonna start installing the selector, I suppose. I suppose. The inside of a gearbox. Uh, this is where the primary shaft goes through to the clutch This is the location of the secondary shaft bear in mind. There is a plastic Bushing inside you can pull it out There is some 